Okay, today is July 25th, 2017, and right now at 10.15 p.m., we have a temperature of 70 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 61%. The dew point is 56 degrees, and the barometer is reading 29.96 inches. And we're looking at three storms here in the uh, eastern Pacific. We have Hillary, and uh, this is Irwin, and then uh, Greg. Greg is being squashed out much the same way uh, that uh, Fernanda was killed off. Uh, Hurricane Fernanda just uh, was squashed out literally by high pressure. And that's what we're seeing right here. Also, uh, notice the blast pattern on this uh, storm here. This is Hillary, and there is a tremendous blast towards the end of this loop. And we can see that much better in the uh, water vapor map. Also right here, towards the end of the sequence, we can see a very large uh, blast pattern developing right here on Irwin. All right, let's take a quick look at the uh, National Hurricane Center map. We have Hillary, a Category 2. This is weakened today. Uh, this storm was up at 110 mile per hour winds, uh, maximum sustained winds. We have a core pressure of 973 millibar, and this storm is moving west, northwest at 12 miles per hour. Then we got uh, Irwin, Category 1, at 90 miles per hour. Uh, 90 mile per hour winds, uh, core pressure of 980 millibar, and this is moving west at eight miles per hour. And then Greg is a tropical depression. This is the storm they've been squashing out. Uh, as these move out and start to move north, they quickly uh, wipe them out with microwave. And that's what we're seeing here with uh, Greg. So this storm is moving uh, northwest at 14 miles per hour with only 35 mile per hour winds. So uh, that storm is being weakened and killed off. And we'll take another look at that. Here is the water vapor map. And we can see those uh, blast patterns right here on uh, Hillary and also on Irwin. Take a look at that right towards the end. That is a the whole south side of that is blowing out. And then we see the color change. That's a key indicator of what's happening. As, this, as these storms are superheated, the convective process is disrupted. And then, of course, we see the uh, the intensity down here on the scale changed from a, a, a magenta down here on the far right of the scale uh, changed to a amber and uh, an aqua color. And that's what's happening here. So the convective process in both of these, all three of these storms, are being uh, disrupted with that microwave RF. And uh, this is most likely space based. Um, uh, the uh, National Weather Service, the NOAA, and the Defense Meteorological Agency monitor uh, the weather in real time. And they have access to all these maps, and uh, these storms can be uh, controlled. Uh, during the winter, we see the same development all year round, basically, down here in the eastern uh, East Pacific. It's only in the uh, <clears throat> summer months, in the hurricane season, that these storms are allowed to form and to move out into the Pacific. Otherwise, uh, we'd have hurricanes year round. In fact, I have a video, I believe it was last, not this last Christmas, but the previous year, uh, there was a hurricane in December or January, I think it was January, <clears throat> right near Hawaii, which was not reported on the news, but we uh, covered it here. And uh, you can find that, I think it was uh, <clears throat> January of 2016. Okay, so, Let's take a look at some of these other maps. We have <clears throat> we have some uh, monsoonal moisture uh, moving up into uh, California. Now, notice what's happening right here as all this weather moves into the uh, United States. It's, it breaks down very quickly right about the border area. Let's look at this in the uh, <clears throat> in the uh, infrared map. Right about here, we can see a lot of superheating activity. These storms are breaking down as they move into the United States. Everything is moving clockwise. If we look at the, uh, let's take a look at the bigger map here. This is the uh, Western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see everything is moving clockwise right here. And so uh, Los Angeles, even though we've had uh, storm clouds, uh, monsoonal moisture, the last two days, it should have rained. And it did rain actually in different areas around Pasadena and La Crescenta. 
uh, it rained for just a few minutes and then it stopped. And of course, the chemtrails are being sprayed over this entire southwest area. Let's take a quick look right now at the MODIS Today map. This is the color satellite map uh, for the uh, southwest. Now, <clears throat> the chemtrails are the, uh, the off white, this, this gray stuff. This is all the chemtrail mix right here. Now, this brilliant white is the natural water vapor laden clouds. These are the thunderheads, the cumulonimbus clouds that are uh, forming <clears throat> over the, the uh, Las Vegas area, which is right up here. Now, as we pan around, uh, we can see that uh, there's a lot of gray stuff. This is the chemtrail stuff that is uh, sprayed by the jets. The chemtrails are a chemical mix of aluminum and uh, barium and, and several other uh, compounds that act as a desiccant, which is a water vapor absorber. All right, now uh, this stuff that they spray, it's, it's a very fine uh, nanoparticulate powder. And during hot days, uh, when this stuff is sprayed over the uh, incoming weather fronts, we will often see a rainbow in broad daylight when this uh, chemtrail mix is sprayed. And that is the nanoparticulate uh, diffracting in the sun and generating a rainbow. So those, are, those rainbows uh, are really not uh, water vapor uh, rainbows. They are generated by the uh, very fine nanoparticulate, which is this chemtrail uh, uh, chemical uh, desiccant that they're spraying. And of course, this uh, stops the lift in the atmosphere. And this is what prevents uh, the rain over a very large area. And in addition to the chemtrails, we have transmitters, which are systematically targeting these cumulonimbus thunderhead clouds, which rise up and generate uh, thunderstorm weather. And if you have not seen uh, the videos I made here from the, uh, I think it was the 16th and the 17th or the 18th, somewhere right around there, uh, you should see those because uh, <clears throat> they capture what, what's happening. Uh, the, the tops of these clouds are, are targeted and they are hit with microwave and we see the, uh, the blast ring. And then these thunderheads collapse. They are not allowed to rise up and uh, generate precipitation. So uh, it's very easy to, to uh, spot in this color satellite map where the chemtrails are sprayed. All this gray stuff, as I say, is the uh, man-made chemical desiccants that are sprayed in the jets, from the jets. And they spray that stuff over these natural white, brilliant white clouds. Okay, so that's what's been happening here the last couple of days. As we pan towards the shore, we can see uh, a mixture of natural clouds, uh, the, this brilliant white, and then we have this gray uh, crap that is uh, sprayed by the jets. And that is uh, stopping the uh, precipitation in our region and also all around the country. All right, now here's the big map, the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. We see those three storms. We have a very wide area of, of uh, high pressure out here in the uh, East Pacific. Now, we also have a couple of what they call dry upper level lows. We've got one right here. There's one right over here. We've got another one right over here, but that this has some moisture circulating around it. We've got one right here over Northern California. But this one right here has a transmitter right over the top of it. So this has basically zero moisture wrapping into that vortex. That is... Uh, this, this little low pressure system is being uh, completely blockaded and none of this moisture right here from, from Irwin is, is uh, being allowed to get into this low pressure system. You see that the tail of Irwin is heading up towards uh, Baja, California. Okay, now uh, also the jet stream, let's take a, there is no jet stream actually, look at the, the map here, this is quite amazing. Uh, right here. That is the extent <clears throat> of the uh, of the jet stream map for today. Virtually non-existent except for a high-speed flow path right here, right into uh, Canada. All right, so 
looking again at this map, there's a lot of manipulation going on. Uh, we have uh, a low pressure system north uh, west of the Hawaiian Islands right here. This is a, looks like a developing storm. And also right here we have a developing low pressure system. And this has what looks to be like a right angle starting to form. And that right angle is a transmitter, probably a phased array microwave that is applying heat to the center of this developing low, which is just right near the islands. And that will uh, that will split the frontal system away from the center of the low. And we'll keep an eye on that. Same thing is, is happening right up here. We see a, a sort of a right angle right, right in here. And that will split away this moisture field. We see clockwise rotation right here as that heat is applied right in this area. So normally everything should just spin right into the center of that low, like a seashell, like you would see on a seashell. But that's not happening. We have clockwise rotation here, which is splitting this whole moisture field away from that uh, the center of that low. This side is all blockaded to prevent the next series of weather, which is moving out of the Bering Sea right here. You see that this is all blockaded with high pressure. So none of this is going to merge with this. And that's what's happening. Let's look at the, uh, the East Coast right now. This is quite in. Wait, we'll come back to that. East Coast map right here, water vapor map. We have a huge upper level low. This uh, vortex is actually moving to the west. Put the grid on and you can see that. This is actually moving towards the uh, East Coast of the United States. Look what's happening here. We've got a high pressure. A barricade, a blockade, which is preventing all this uh, uh, moisture here, this tropical moisture right here, this warmer uh, moisture from getting involved with this. So there's quite a bit going on uh, <clears throat> with our weather. And none of this is being shown on television, by the way. Instead, you get to see cartoon uh, animations, and the uh, weather people are mostly uh, comedians uh, tap dancing their way through this. But uh, this is what's going on. Look at the size of this uh, supercell right here. This is a giant system. This will probably uh, generate some hail and thunderstorms right over uh, Nebraska and the uh, Dakotas right up here. I don't have the Doppler map pulled up. Look at here also right by the Yucatan Peninsula. We have a huge supercell right here being blown apart. Look at this right here. That is being completely destroyed. Let's take a look at the, uh, saw that. Let's take a look at these hurricanes real quick because I'm running out of time. This is uh, Hillary. You can see the blast pattern. There's no eye wall. We can see right here that this area is being targeted. Huge blast pattern all the way around this side, on that west side. Now let's look at the, uh, this is amazing right here. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this loop and start it from the beginning. Right here, we're going to see a, a, a blast pattern begin right in the center, right there. And, and we can see a ring right here. And watch this expand out the next frame. We'll keep going here now that it's much bigger. And then we have the uh, day to night transition. You can see that ring right there. See, it's bigger than the last uh, three frames. Then we have the the uh, night or day to night transition. We have the photoshopping, but we see the shock wave. Let's just run that, and uh, you can see I'm just about running out of time here. So this hurricane is being uh, blown apart. They've got part of it photoshopped, so you can't see that detail. All right, <clears throat> so that is pretty much the report. Uh, this is the SSCC water vapor map. Uh, see some moisture streaming into Southern California. We'll see probably a more chemtrail spring tomorrow. As uh, we've got a clockwise pattern here, but every one of these uh, thunderstorms is, is pretty much being blown apart. There's not a whole lot of activity here in Southern California. Okay, so that's it. We'll do another update uh, later on.